um, to turn waste into a value that can be utilized for, uh, for fuel, for heat, or for uh, other um, valuable purposes. That, um, that is what uh, the group of companies we have under the symbiocity concept are ready to deliver. Some of them are with us here. Uh, some, uh, some of them um, are elsewhere, but still uh, part of the symbiocity concept. Um, this this uh, week's activities has been um, have been uh, focused on uh, transport solution, transport monitoring, but also on uh, uh, waste and waste to energy aspects. So, with your permission, I will just briefly uh, introduce and give, um, give the floor for a very, very short introduction to the companies we have with us here. So, for a, uh, for a good transport solution, um, and buses, uh, uh, buses is a necess necessity. So uh, I would like to give uh, uh, the first. Uh, where, where do we have Steve? Yeah. Steve. Yeah. Steve Olong, uh, Volvo Singapore bus, Volvo bus Singapore. Please, Steve. Uh, good morning. Well, good afternoon, good afternoon, everybody. Um, so I'm Steve from Volvo Bus. Um, Volvo Bus is uh, one of the leading company in terms of uh, BRT, uh, especially in uh, South America. And uh, also we are providing uh, articulated buses, CNG buses and hybrid diesel buses. Our latest success in terms of hybrid diesel is the city of Bogota who purchased uh, 200 buses to run their BRT with hybrid diesel. Thank you. And then now, we have another bus company, but uh, I will keep them a bit apart, so... Uh, <laughs> so for, for buses, probably not, but for cars, uh, for a well-functioning uh, traffic system, uh, on-street parking is an important part. Uh, call it access. <coughs> Uh, Mr. Alain? Yes, uh, Mr. Vice Governor, I'm very honored and pleased to meet you again, actually, and I want again thank you for our last meeting and giving us the opportunity to present our solutions. I'm again here with uh, Andre, Rizal over there, and Wahio, and I look forward now to launch this project in Jakarta. Thank you again for being here. Thanks. But also uh, another vital uh, part, and, uh, which I know, uh, which we actually discussed uh, last time we were here, and uh, what will continue to be discussed, I think, is uh, the traffic monitoring system, ERP system, and uh, that is uh, Kat Johan Paul Berg. Yes, good afternoon, uh, I was part of the delegation that presented, uh, discussed a bit about uh, GPS-based onboard units and so on, and. Uh, uh, yeah, we have developed further and we would like to present it uh, at the later stage to, to you. So uh, we are still here with uh, our onboard unit that we would uh, like to introduce. We already talked to our Yeah, yeah we are talking to them all the time. Okay. And uh, now I think it's time to introduce now I think it's time to introduce uh, the other bus uh, maker Scania. Uh, Urban where are you? Yeah. 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 Please. Good afternoon, my name is Roman Kostayev, working for the SO, standard presenting office in Indonesia. We have this uh, United Tractor, which was supporting our distributor, and uh, with this bus public transportation. <coughs> so, thank you much. So, demo bus is coming and double bus? Yes, uh, actually, yes. Uh, I got a picture that they were building it, so it's on the way. <laughs> One of our bus operators already ordered 70 units for for articulated uses yeah. scanning. Mm -hmm. They also, but we, we next year we plan to purchase 1,000 units for Tanjarapa and a small, medium, 2,000. 
3,000 3, units. So uh, what you're saying, Mr. Vice Governor, is that we can celebrate uh, that uh, uh, the 71st buses have been ordered. Yeah. Great. That's a, a great uh, yes, moment from, for from us. The, uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Congratulations, Governor. Yeah, from the, from the Astra Group. Yes. The uh, Norway. They yes. already got the order of 70 units, but not from us. It's from the private sector. Yes, you have to be a And we think it's very important to put your price list to our, to our government e catalog. Uh, that's very important. Like 44. I don't know, 44 agency is different. 44 is under uh, Indomobile. Indomobile group. Uh, yes, correct, yes. Yeah. Indomobile for Volvo and uh, Astra for UD. Yeah. yeah, but for some it's beauty, also. I think you need to talk with them and put your price list in the e catalog. When, you, when all your product is in our e catalog, we could directly purchase. No need bidding. It's very easy. If you use bidding, you will lose to, maybe you lose to Chinese companies. Maybe you will lose to cheap and it looks good. And it's, there's not a problem. Yeah, that's why we prefer to purchase the best quality. That's what we want. I think for four could bring to your product because you need to go to the transportation minister to get like a yes. kind of certificate. Yes. yes. Yeah, like that, like the other yeah. Actually, we have a meeting with the transportation minister yeah. after this meeting with you. Now this afternoon. Oh, yeah. So, Mr. Vice So, two companies left, and uh, I have the pleasure to introduce uh, Svieko Group um, and Jenny uh, Vidal. And Svieko is a, um, a multidisciplinary Swedish uh, technical consultant and architect company. And I would like to mention on this note that Svieko was actually the company in the industry spearheading the development of the Silvio City concept. So they have a full range of uh, services and activities in all related uh, urban uh, functions. But uh, Jenny, where, where is Jenny? Okay. <laughs> Jenny, please. Hello, thank you for come, letting us come today. It's very nice to be here. And I'm from the consulting company Sveco, and we are, as Matt said, a group of uh, one of the largest consulting companies in Scandinavia. And uh, we, we are engineers and architects and environmental experts that work together to get good solutions and um, want to contribute to smarter and safer and more attractive societies with as low environmental <laughs> impact as possible. And me, myself, I work in the field of transport. And finally, to get uh, all this good business we are discussing now, uh, to get financed, we uh, also need uh, export financing. So Swedish, with the Swedish Export Credit Corporation, Carl. Thank you, good afternoon. Carl Engelbert from Swedish Export Credit Corporation, or SEK. We are owned by the government and we finance export from Sweden. So we hope that some of the projects we discussed today will get concrete so we can finance them, but we have also financed a lot in the past. The telecom, power, for example, PLM is in Sweden, described it to be talk with the Swedish government, also in healthcare, so it's a promising market and we hope to be more active here. Excuse me. company is also the same company for the rounded separator machine, different. Separator machine. To separate the thing. Uh, so that's a it's a a I used Sweco machine, but we purchased from a Kentucky university. Yeah. Use a Sweco name. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Different. Okay. Yeah, this is a separator for separator. for mining for mining in oh, Sweco. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 
Yes, and uh, I uh, think it would be also very uh, nice and interesting now to contribute also from the Swedish governmental agency side. Uh, the um, a national agency for regional growth, national and regional growth and analysis. Uh, would you like uh, to add something, Martin, on this? Uh, oh, together with Tildex Valket and Tildex Analyst, speak for both, please. Thanks for that. Uh, okay, so my name is Martin Flack and I work at the Swedish Agency for Growth Policy Analysis. And we actually are here to learn more about what's going on here in the terms of energy transitions, sustainable land use, management, and, and so on and so forth, and also sustainable urban development. And when it comes to the uh, development and uh, specific projects discussion, I actually think I will have to hand that over to perhaps Marcus. Oh yes, Marcus, you, please. Yes, thank you. My name is Marcus Gill and I'm a program manager for the Swedish Agency for Economic and Regional Growth. And uh, one of the things that we do is that we co-finance projects between Swedish companies and Indonesian partners. For example, the CB uh, car that I know has been shown for you. Uh, yes, the, the small electric car that has been produced, uh, developed with money from uh, the Agency for National Growth and Regional Growth. Thank you. Uh, yes, and also in uh, regional development and urban and sustainable development, we also have uh, a few projects and um, activities. Thank you. I not yet found the environment for Suez company. Very interesting to how to manage our wastewater management. Yes, yeah. that is uh, absolutely something that you have mentioned also before, and therefore we have our consultant with us uh, from Sveco, who is an expert on sustainable city solutions. So, Jenny, could you fill in on that, please? Yes, Sveco is uh, an expert in waste. Uh, and uh, water supply and, uh, and cleaning water as well. Our consultants have been doing that in a lot of countries, uh, mostly in the Europe, uh, Eastern Europe, the last decades. Us and then have good contacts with all these Swedish companies, so we can connect to them if we know specifically what you want. So, regarding the wastewater treatment, at the moment, Jakarta is already have a master plan, let's say, to have a, a proper uh, wastewater treatment facilities. While at the moment, we only cover 3% of the domestic uh, wastewater treated, but now we already have a master plan, thanks to uh, uh, also central government, the Ministry of Public Works, assisted by the JICA that uh, we have a master plan for developing 15 zone, 15 zone area to be uh, served by uh, a proper wastewater treatment. Uh, we hope that with this, uh, the implementation of these facilities, we can clean our river. So uh, we can increase the quality of the water in the river itself. So, uh, the process of implementing such facilities, of course, there will be some uh, scheme, <coughs> government project. It can also become a uh, public-private partnership. So, so in this issue, probably that if we can share some ideas from uh, Sweden, I can that's, that's the idea. We, we will uh, we we glad to do that, but uh, also to. Um, uh, to uh, to fill on what uh, Mr. Clark said, uh, I think if it's it's important to know in which stage this process is now. Whether it's uh, is it planning and design, that's very much a a, a Sveco and their colleagues uh, related business. Could it be uh, a design for, for instance, biogas production from sludge? Uh, that is also in. If that is on the table, that could be um, a 
planning and development phase as well. And then in different stages where you have implementation and investments, that, uh, that a different discussion program. But uh, we, we are open to, um, to, to get to know uh, where you are and what, what, what you would like. And uh, we will surely provide you with information on what we can support and with which companies and companies. Well, at the moment, uh, uh, we finalized the master plan. Jakarta is divided into 15 zones, including the first already uh, innovation. And uh, for the, at the moment, we are now doing a more detail on two of the, these uh, 14 zones. Only two from 14 zones of, of, of this 14 zones. The detailed planning. The more detailed planning. Okay. So there's still uh, 12 zones that need to be, uh, you know, uh, it, uh, developed, yeah? developed in in terms of uh, detail <coughs> planning as well as the implementation. <coughs> so in this, I think uh, we need. Well, of course, with the experience of developing the first two, probably we can also implement in the, the other uh, locations. But if some ideas or probably some, you know, proposal again for this, even for the, possibly the, also the public-private yeah. partnership, yeah. why not? That's the issue. We are ready. Yeah. Yeah. So that let's let's just agree on the contact person so that uh, and we will speak with that discussion. So uh, certainly. So we shall be in contact with you, sir, about this. So then we will come back with the companies and the consultant to you next week. So uh, later on, with the meeting, I think we can speak in, in more detail about the, the scheme itself. Yeah, I, th I think from a practical point of view, if if you have uh, the opportunity, I think it's possible to arrange uh, a technical meeting tomorrow. We won't have time today, but uh, let's discuss that after the meeting. Yeah. Can I add a little bit on that because we're talking about problems. we have all the problems in the world really for Jakarta. Uh, sewer is one of our major problems uh, because for so long uh, we only have 3% mentioned. And at the moment we have on the table uh, a master plan and two zones is currently under detailed uh, evaluation. And JICA is interested in financing this, the first two zones. But, uh, you know, we're a little bit worried about that because with the plans, it will take about four years to finalize the financing, and then it will take another four years to finish the first 20% of the two zones. So it's, uh, you know, we're a bit ambitious in terms of, of yeah. this strategy. Yeah. So we want to do a little bit more. Yeah. The World Bank has looked at this to make their evaluation, and they said this is not so aggressive. So we. Well, we come to a conclusion that we need to do a more aggressive strategy on this, uh, especially in terms of, of, of environmental issue. Uh, that's number one. Uh, and for that purpose, we have a company, a government owned company, not government owned company, who's looking at that. So they are actually operating the system and they are also now developing that. Um, so we can, we can discuss that possibly directly with. with the company, uh, the respective company. Uh, the other things that you mentioned about about BRT system, yes. ATCS transport related. Um, MRTS, maybe you've heard that we have started the groundbreaking. Uh, we have finalized three contracts yeah, with the contractors, and since this is a tight loan, so mostly it's Japanese consortium because that is the requirement of the loan. And we also have just finalized the contract with another three contracts. So we have three contracts for underground system, and then three contracts for the elevated system, and then another contract for people. And two others relating to uh, the rolling stock and the ENM. 
um, <coughs> this is not yet finalized. Uh, one thing I uh, maybe would be of interest is the operational issue, because at the moment we haven't touched on this, the o issue. We probably would outsource this, because uh, based on, on the experience from other cities like Bangkok, uh, Manila, uh, that we need to prepare the o uh, a little bit in advance, or maybe at least parallel with the construction. Uh, this is one thing. Could be possibly a an area that we can also uh, discuss. Um, on the uh, traffic restraint, yeah. uh, ERP, uh, it's been discussed for many years, as far as I can remember. It started back in 1995, the first discussion on this. Um, the problem at that time is on the legal side because we have the authority to implement based on traffic and transport law, but we cannot charge that because our law on tax and charges doesn't allow. So this was the difficulties then. Now we have solved this. So we have the two in place. Uh, but we have another problem at the moment because we also need to discuss that with our local government, uh, our local council, as far as the charging is concerned. Uh, so we are currently discussing that. Hopefully, we can get the, the bylaws in place by the end of this year or early next year so we can use that as a base for implementing uh, this uh, road pricing scheme. Um, Parking system, I think it's been discussed. Uh, yes, I think it's, it's on, on the way, I, I believe. Okay, because I was going to ask you the question, actually. <laughs> regarding the, the actual status, because after our last uh, successful meeting and uh, private presentation, uh, Mr. Brazilwerna, we already uh, produced 50 units ready to dispatch for Indonesian market, and we adapted the product for this specific market. Uh, this decision was made together with our local partner, uh, Vertical Access. So actually, in order to start the business and launch the project, we are just uh, waiting for this uh, approval, uh, if I understand right. Yeah. Uh, I just want to tell you, just yesterday, I have a meeting with our uh, parking department by Enrico. Uh, the problem is by Enrico, he went for our financing department to do a beauty contest. I think if you could not wait for, for this financing department, this parking department could do by themselves for like a beauty contest. And I think this Bajanyam or Kari 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 company will win because we will put the very tight specification of experience in many countries many years experience production yeah. uh, so just yesterday I uh, asked Mr. Enrico to, to do this so we went very fast and I hope at the end of this year many part of the Jakarta road will put to scene like Saban, Madagascar, yeah. Padani yeah. we are very interesting like a CCTV and everything like that yeah but in our plea yeah we, we have to talk to <laughs> This is uh, this is what I'm really confident. Because the I think maybe the problem is that the police headquarters they get from a Norway company to, to do what we said is okay. What we need is the open system. Yeah. When you the open system you could do this in Norway if the Sweden company could win this beauty contest we will run with this. Yeah, just to comment that the Norwegian company should be in touch. They have, they're looking according to the European standard and they deliver uh, very similar products. Yes, yes. So, I mean, it would be good for you to have uh, dual, two suppliers in that case. I mean, uh, it's exactly the same. We are competing in, uh, in, in almost all the countries, more than the 32 countries worldwide. Both Q3 and us and other companies are fighting here every day. So, so it's, it's very good for you. <laughs> <laughs> you are in all of, all of the competition? Or, uh, say, say yeah. 50-50? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, it's in uh, Sweden, they use a uh, Norway for that. We are also 
representing Norway. We are representing Norway. So this is yeah, we already decided like a, a corridor one from yeah. Block M to the RCP. Yeah. This is the first project and also Kogina. But we want to give a, it's a compensation to the people. When we use the ERP, we want to give them a free just bus, yeah. the bus. This is for a double maker. Yes. That's why in the corridor one, they also have a free charge uh, or the double vehicle bus. Mm -hmm. So people you have to pay and no motorcycle get inside and you have to pay. If you want if you don't want to use the bus you have to pay. And that's what we our policy is like that. Uh, we still want to find out we don't want to get to jail because of this <laughs> many private company want to invest in this. So we don't need to use our budget for have this ERP. <laughs> That's why we choose our own company, but the Jakarta Komunikasi. Alani, you have met him? Yes, yes. Yeah, we hope we could do this. And we want to let all the banks in Jakarta could get in, because this, you know, OBU is only, it's just a back office. And we want this open system, so every bank could join this. And this is a little bit different with the London Diri user. Yeah, but this yeah. all right. Yeah, uh, all right. Have a problem because only Bank Mandiri could get in, not other banks. Yeah. We want every bank to get in. You just need have a bank account. A bank account, you could do this. Maybe bank will provide them or do. I don't know how to do this. What interest banking yes. through mobile telephones? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, but there are many banks. The banks are very interested. Uh, very interested in this. And I mean, what we're providing is a money printing machine. So there will be a lot of revenue that goes into the, to the government of Jakarta. I mean, we need to keep a uh, tight, pretty tight control of that money. I would, I would see them uh, through, through the banks, but uh, with the transparent the transaction to, uh, to, uh, to yourself. So we hope uh, ERP, bus, uh, parking machine, I think this is on the progress. Yeah. But we still not yet have a Program is for the wastewater management. I think it's very important for us in Jakarta. Yes. Because we have a 13th main river in Jakarta, but we lack of water resources yes. for our fresh water. It's very ridiculous. And when the rainy season comes, flood everywhere, but we do not have enough water for the fresh water. That's why it's very important we have a wastewater management company to solve this problem. And we already have a pay the part. We have one company to do this. So it is more easy when business to business cooperation. Yeah. We just support any bureaucracy, we have a, for administration we will help. Especially for the Sweden company yeah. in Jakarta. Yeah. If you have a problem with the administration, you just let us know. We still have our progress for the one stop service. We still let uh, wait for or parliament to pass the law or one stop service. Yeah. But when this law is not yet passed, we could do it manually. Just come to our office, we do it for you. <laughs> it's, it's like a service company. Thank you very much. I just would like to add that uh, Bankcar Access, the Swedish company, we have about 65 years of experience in this business, as you know. And we have a vision uh, for uh, only, not only for the city of Jakarta, for for, uh, for Indonesia as a country, like with a mass transit integration, uh, public transport in our that you use the same car for the for the buses, for the metro in future time, and you can pay the parking as well. We have even the vision. We know that Jakarta is a huge market, a future potential market. That in case of big business here, we are even thinking, planning to to perhaps start a, a, a production locally here in, in Indonesia. So this is a vision of Carl as well, to cover from perhaps Jakarta all Asia and Asian markets, just to, to let you know about our vision. Thank you. So you just let your local partner to put in this specification Correct. in the beauty contest. Yeah, thank you. It's very easy. Yes. Experience more than 60 years. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So Mr. Weiss, can, let me just confirm that we will be ready to, uh, to set up a technical meeting, uh, a first brief month to, uh, to look into the case of the 2 plus 13 um, uh, projects in the, in the sewage uh, system. Could include a, uh, a initial review of, uh, of the plans and the program, could review other parts, but uh, let us bring uh, let us bring the super experts and let's see if we can find time for technical meeting tomorrow. And uh, do I understand it correctly with the double decker buses? It's, it's these buses that you need more yeah. now than the other buses. Yes. And they are decent? Uh, yeah, we said we have uh, a double decker bus, yes. that they could bus. This is special road. Yes. What we want to use a uh, regular road, the website is a double decker bus. Yes. So we really want to give a free service for tourism and for the people. But you have to drop the motorcycle. You have to park your motorcycle. Use this bus. Mm -hmm. So we need this double for our disabilities people. Yes. They have a problem going to the Transjakarta bus. Yeah. That's why we need a lower decker bus. But it is just copy Singapore. Four four also has an opportunity to do yes. this, mm -hmm. and this is good. And for four four and Scania, so you you need to report to the transportation minister first. You prototype to get the certificate. Thank you very much. Yes, we do that. And uh, we had invited the taxation office uh, of uh, Jakarta to visit Sweden in connection with the electronic road pricing and congestion fees. And they are, yeah. uh, we have a program waiting for them if you would like to let them go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I already let them go because we said <laughs> But the fact is, we, we don't need to go to the Sweden. We already know your products, you know. But you are too, well, yeah, too kind to let them go. Excellency, I said, so can you go? But actually, I don't want to let them go. <laughs> because they already know the product for what to go in there. They yeah. already yeah. know the product. Yeah, and uh, perhaps we could also add some environmental education in your schools in Jakarta. We are working on, on this now on a national level. Uh, uh, Mr. Vice Minister has, has brought this up uh, with the Minister of Environment and several other, Pakantoro, for example. So, it, of course, that would be very interesting to do some kind of launching of that also here in the schools of Jakarta, if you are interested. Just as an example. Mm -hmm. I want to mention this education. Yeah. Yeah. Launching. Yeah. Okay. Just pick up the schools that you like. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I think uh, our uh, group, if there is any other questions, or all of them are so, no? Okay. Also? Okay, and we are going to have this meeting and everything. Yeah, Because it's like a parking machine already has a partner, ERP already, bus already has a partner and locked up. It's very more easy yes. and uh, see what companies more, more <coughs> difficult. But I think you have to ah, if I can invite uh, the young pro too. The pro has an interesting to do this business too. The pro. Okay, uh, thank you very much. I'm sorry for this delay, but that. Uh, I would like to say we are very uh, thankful for us this meeting. It was very concrete and it was very active. I think uh, very good. Thank you, Mr. Vice Government. And I would like to.
sektornya gabung gitu nah, kita punya BUMD BUMD kan silahkan dia gabung bagi mereka tuh Indonesia itu masuk dalam enam negara penting di dunia ada pasar kita perkembangan dia juga ke Bandung kan ke Dewan kami oke okay. ya, pergi juga sudah sejauh mana Pak kan kemarin ini sudah pernah ada pertemuan kita sudah temuin soal IRP itu ada pasangan dengan Jakom perusahaan bus kan tinggal kita suruh dia masuk dalam e-katalog oh. uh, prinsip kita semua di e-katalog kita tinggal beli berarti nanti di ERP memang pakai teknologinya Swedia ini? belum tentu, bisa juga Norway ini kan kita tender oh. makanya dia benar dia open system kan di Swedia sendiri kan Norway yang main itu gabung ya. yang benar kan open system, bus sistemnya buka perusahaan mana pun ikut, bank mana pun bisa ikut yang kita paling kuat ini mesti kayak e-tolkat itu kan jadi masalah kan hanya satu bank Sistem bank itu kenyamanan, orang pengen semua nasabah, nah, kita lagi mendorong prinsip itu semua orang kan tidak pakai uang gilar itu. Semua orang kan pengennya kan pakai auto debit, semua macam, ya, pengennya seperti itu. Ya, kalau semua bank terlibat, orang kan hidup makin nyaman kan, di Jakarta kan, semua bayar minyak, kita pakai kartu ATM. Nah, kartu Jakarta Pinter aja udah ATM kok. Jadi semua tinggal debat-debat. Ya, aku mesti balik ada rapat lagi. Ini gara-gara ganti Pak Gup soalnya. Maksudnya Pak Gup ini. Pak, kalau ini yang baru apa? Ini yang baru. Katanya anak kecil nggak mau ikut tempur. Ini kita lagi bicarakan soal bank yang penting. Semua tuh mesin itu nggak masukin kartu. Kalau mau masukin kartu pasti terbatas banget. Nah, kita pengen yang model mesin itu hanya di depan terus belakang kantor yang di debit dari rekening. Jadi kalau kamu pakai mobil lewat, kamu nggak ada duit di sini, eh, potong dari rekening bank kamu. Ya, pengennya seperti itu sistemnya. Kalau hmm. ya. lanjut kayak gini dong Pak, yang pejabat ditangkap itu hmm. semuanya udah ada di daftar PPAT? Ya, perusahaan-perusahaan dia semua. Perusahaan dia semua. Hmm. Hmm. Itu si onya Pak. Kaps ini, ini sekretaris menterinya. Ini mesin parkirnya. Pak, bagus ini, dia masih CCTV segala macam. Pak, kalau diberlakukan IRP itu idealnya berapa sih Pak? Di sini Pak, kalau nggak nggak ngomong ideal, tergantung kemampuan orang lewat, hmm. tergantung berapa kamu nekat. Hmm. Kalau dua puluh ribu masih murah lewat, lima puluh ribu, dua puluh ribu masih nekat ya tujuh puluh. Kan soal IRP itu konsep tuh meng, hmm. 
ngatur volume kendaraan di jalan bukan duitnya sebetulnya hmm. kita ingin membatasi jumlah kendaraan di jalan inginnya berapa berarti target berapa mobil yang sesuai saja sebaik tidak macet belum ketemu angkanya ada ada hitungannya ada profesor yang berkasih ada hitungannya hmm. saya lupa ada hitungannya kok jadi lewat padat masih jadi sekian menit itu kendaraan hasil bisa sampai berapa kilometer ada, ada rumusnya ada sekolah transportasi sih pendapatan dari IRP itu tidak ditargetkan Pak Profesor? enggak kita bukan pikirin duitnya tapi kalau dapat duitnya ya tambahan untuk beli kasih bus gratis kalau bisa untung kenapa enggak gratiskan seluruh bus DKI hmm. kalau dari IRP ternyata orang kaya di Jakarta ini hmm. biar 100 ribu pun aku bayar aja pokoknya aku mau lewat mau nyaman gitu kan mau 200 ribu pun saya bayar ya bayar aja kalau 100 ribu lewat sejuta biji sehari 100 miliar Ya kan? Tinggal ketawa kita kasih gratis ini bus seluruh Jakarta hmm. yang kiri. Hmm. Orang kaya-kaya itu udah rela bayar sos ibu dos ibu dia mana mau naik bus kan? Hmm. Karena kan kenyaman dan kendaraan pribadi tidak mungkin dikalahkan oleh transportasi umum. Hmm. Nah di situ ada prinsip apa keadilan tadi kan? Waktu itu Kadisop sempat ngomong 22 ribu pak itu. Memang itu kajian. Kajian, kajian mereka 22 ribu untuk awal gitu. Tapi kalau 22 ribu masih macet, hmm. ya naikin. Kalau ngomongin sistem pra-IRP itu? Pra-IRP, kita nggak mau ngomong, itu urusan kita. Oh, Pak Cuma stiker, tapi kita anggarkan nanti itu, stiker-stiker itu kita mau anggarkan. Ini Pak, kalau yang pejabat uh, DKI yang ditangkap kejahatan, <coughs> itu datanya sebetulnya ada di laporan KKTK yang ada Mungkin, di Bapak? Aku nggak tahu, nggak ada laporan. Nggak, nggak, nggak ada kewajiban mereka melapor kepada kami. Tapi kan bukannya ada daftarnya Pak, PPATK waktu itu kan? siapa? <laughs> nah, nah. Tapi kerjasamanya berarti apa Pak? Ini sama makan siang bar. Apa? Eh boleh dong kerja sama makan siang bar kan boleh kan? Makan. Menda gini. Menda gini. Menda gini. Bau agar kepala daerah menjadi kerjasama dengan. Itu kamu yang tulis ya kompas.com. Bau. Bau apa yang menjadi kerjasama dengan FPI Pak? FPI itu apa? Front pembela Islam. Masa? belum baca. Ya, itu gimana Pak kalau gue nggak tahu. Apa benar apa nggak benar nggak? Nanti nanti Mendagri Mendagri bilang wartawan memplesetkan lagi pernyataannya. Dan nanti memplesetkan lagi. Saya belum tahu beritanya. Belum dulu plesetkan. juga belum memplesetkan. Ini apa salah tafsir nanti katanya? Oh, terus salah siapa? membaca Jadi, maksud itu. Kepala daerah itu nggak boleh alergi sama yang namanya organisasi masyarakat gitu Pak. Ya gitu. Jadi nah, kenapa ngomongnya ke FPI? Ini ya, salah satunya FPI, Pak. Kepala Agar daerah, ya. berarti kamu tanya ke Pak Gubernur, karena saya wakil kepala daerah. Nah, nah, maksud Pak Rendagri itu hanya kepala daerah. Wakil tidak masuk, mungkin. Nah, ya, gitu kan. Wakil tidak masuk, maksudnya kan. Kalau nggak saya di sumber, takut di demo FPI. Bener dong. Hanya ya, kepala daerah kan, kayaknya kan. Tapi di surabinya tuh Joko Bok. Oh, Tidak <laughs> nah, masuk kan kepala daerah. Kimbawan Mendagri kan, berarti wakil kepala daerah nggak ada dong. Cari aman APBD-nya belum disahin ya.